Dover King, Dover King, everybody let's sing. I don't know all the words, so I'm making them up. Da 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 na 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 na. Dover King, Dover King, na 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 na. What is up, guys? This is another Red Cat Habitat exclusive. Today we're going to be looking at the game Skyrim, the console of Xbox One. Now, this isn't any Skyrim. This isn't your grandpa's Skyrim. This isn't your dad's Skyrim. This is Skyrim Special Edition with, with mods! mods. I know what you're thinking. He's got a cape. He's got a backpack. His arrows are hanging off of his bum. This is all possible because of community mods. Now there are mods that you can buy that are, you know, quote unquote guaranteed, but there's a whole ton of them that you can download if you're willing. A mod is a modification that is a bit of coding that goes into the game that changes some aspect of the vanilla gameplay. They're made by gamers for gamers. Some of them are little, some of them are huge. Some affect the weather, some affect objects, armor, weaponry, gameplay, such as combat, uh, damage, faces and eyes, just a ton of stuff. Hate and being unkind. Beauty One of my favorites so far are these custom-made companions. Uh, two that I've tried and absolutely adore are Inigo the Khajiit and Sophia the Nord. They both are very different and you can have them on at the same time. They are made by different people and so they play a little differently. Inigo seems a lot more polished and is like always where you want him to be. Sophia is awesome and has really good interactivity, but she's a little quirkier. Sometimes if you're sneaking, she'll bump into you and push you forward. Sometimes she gets lost. Sometimes if you quick travel, she'll load in with no clothes on, which is interesting. And with her personality, you kind of have to wonder, maybe she's doing that on purpose. Inigo has this great part of his functionality where you get a power to control him in the form of whistling and it's context sensitive so wherever you're facing when you whistle will have a different order for him Sophia's personality shines through and she's always got mind. something witty to say what's on uh, your especially mind? to the other NPCs and she'll often Sarah, call you into mind? conversations I'm probably feeling a little bit guilty I kill hundreds of people and enjoy it and then afterwards I feel guilty, but then I also feel empowered. Whoever thought feelings could be so complicated? There's mods that affect the weather, give it realistic storms, little better looking fog, stuff that makes the flora wave in the wind. There's lanterns you can wear. You get customized monsters that you can add into the world. Some are a little herky-jerky, some are awesome. Some you can tame with a, another mod. You get your own custom starting areas and gameplay. And of course you still have those quirky vanilla little bugs. As seen here. But speaking of those vanilla bugs, there is a um, moderately sized mod that goes through and alleviates a ton of them. And it's one of the most highly recommended one. And I do believe it's even in their little cash store as well. But there's a free version, so it's kind of like... There's ones that make your horses behave better and actually just a lot more enjoyable. There's ones that give uh, lush landscapes and overall cooler water effects, more realistic. One of my favorites also lets you 
build campfires out in the wilderness, set up tents. There's one that uh, makes the snow build up on your shoulders when it's snowing, makes your clothes wet and drippy when it's raining, changes your footstep sounds when your feet are wet. There's ones that redo the racial abilities you know, in a great way. There's ones that uh, change all of the perks you can buy, really expands on the um, level up system. All in all, I've been having a blast with these. Now, that comes with the caveat that I had somebody who had gone through it, tested them out, done the homework, and is just my awesome brother and was like, yo, you really need to try this out. Um, that being said, if you're on your own testing these, you really want to be very careful and only do it with a new save because there is the potentiality of corrupting your save files if you mess things up or get unlucky. Uh, fortunately there is a huge community to reach out to. Many of the mods right in their descriptions tell you uh, where in the load order to place them. They tell you oftentimes what works with them and what doesn't. Um, but there's also many that lack that information and the last thing you want to do is go out there and uh, screw up some save file that you've invested a lot into. That alone keeps a lot of people from trying these things. But, you know, give it a shot. Just make sure that you're doing it under a new save. I think it's great that um, Microsoft is letting these custom created mods even on the Xbox. So that in and of itself, I think is worth supporting. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. If you did, please hit the like button. It would be awesome for me if you did. And uh, even if you don't, you guys just go on and have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.